Hi guys, welcome to today's daily devotional. The theme is the great physician. The great physician. Now our verse is taken from the book of First Peter two twenty four. First Peter two twenty four, which says, "Who is own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we." be in debt to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. First Peter 2.24 Now we have a Bible reading which is taken from the book of Numbers 21.7-9 Numbers 21.7-9 which says, Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that every one that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. And Moses made a serpent of brass, and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. Let's go to the message. The advent of sin um, into the human race brought a lot of calamities into the world, chief among which is sickness. The good news, however, is that the Almighty God is also ready to help the human race to get over this. Deuteronomy 7.15 says, And the Lord will take away from thee all sickness, and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which thou knowest upon thee, but will lay them upon all that hate thee. In our Bible reading today, the children of Israel sinned against the Lord, and he sent fiery serpents to kill them. After much pleading by Moses, their leader, God decided to help them. Numbers 21, 8-9 says, and the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fairy serpent, and set it upon a pole, and it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. Unfortunately, some people refused to look and live that day. The Bible says further, Either let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted, and were destroyed of serpents. Jesus said that just as Moses lifted the serpent in the wilderness and all who looked upon it were healed, so also would he save all those who look up to him. Jesus has already made provision for our healing through his stripes, if we look up to him. Beloved, what infirmities are you suffering from? Have you suffered by the hands of physicians to no avail? like the woman with the issue of blood? Put your faith in Jesus today. He is the great physician and will heal you as he did the impotent man at the pool of Bethesda. To enjoy divine healing, however, you must belong to the great physician. The food meant for children cannot be given to dogs or slaves, according to Mark 7, 26-30. Surrender your life in totality to the Lord Jesus Christ today and he will prove to you that he is indeed the great physician. Let's go to the prayer point which says, Father, you are the great physician. Please heal all my infirmities today. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray with me. Father, you are the great physician. Please heal all my infirmities today. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word. In Jesus' name, amen.